Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we are going to see the next file system in the list. So we have uh, just seen the uh, bin file system and yesbin uh, file system in detail. And it is very important to know each and every one of this as I already told you. Now if you can see in the list, the next one to be uh, learned is boot. Boot file system as the name uh, specifies, it should be definitely related to booting and related stuff. So what is boot file system? People call it BFS and some other uh, references also say that it can be called as B file system. Uh, it has the collection of files which are certainly needed for the booting process. Now can we go deeper into it? Yes. CD boot. I am getting into it and you can see that there are files by name grub, initrd, uh, vm liners. These are all the names of the files that you can see here. And there are multiple versions over there and multiple different files there but they carry the same name i mean the first half of the name almost remains the same so we need to know what is this or what are these three are very important files whatever we have we are to understand these three files form the fundamentals for any booting process with respect to linux and i'm going to tell you about that quickly vm linux is nothing but the core linux kernel you can see that this is nothing but the core linux kernel this is the Linux for you. VM Linux is the core Linux kernel. Remember, do not forget. And the second one that we need to understand is INIT RD image. This is nothing but a temporary file system that will be used prior to the loading of the kernel. Which means before the kernel gets loaded, there are some tasks which are to be done. And this is used to get the task accomplished. And this is a temporary file system which gets used before the kernel gets completely loaded. And the final one is system.map. It is a symbolic lookup table and we use it. And most important part, if you see, you, will, you would have got a grub. What is this grub? This grub is nothing but a, a file or a, it can be called as a package that helps you to support or to hold multiple operating systems in the system. And during the boot time, the user can select whichever operating system he needs to use or he needs to go ahead with. Now this is exactly the usage of the grub and these are all the very simple things that the uh, boot file system gets us and this is a very important file system that we are supposed to know and it does help us out in the entire booting process the next one that we need to know in the same uh, order is dev file system i will show you what is it cd slash ls dev you can see this dev is nothing but the device file system so what is it this is a simple file system so we need not spend a lot of time here this is a location for special uh, devices or this is where you can see all the devices clearly listed um, to start it very simply i'll just go through that location so that you will get a clear idea about what i'm talking about cd boot sorry uh, dev inside that if you see all these are the devices I2C, it is nothing but I square C interfaces. TTY, TTY is nothing but the terminal. SDA, all these are the devices that we are, are talking about. And this entire setup, in this entire file system is meant for tracking the devices. That's it. So we have seen two file systems now in this video. The first one is nothing but the boot, and the second one is nothing but the devices, DEV file system. In the next uh, session, we'll have more details about the rest of the file systems which are going to be handled. I hope you like the content and if you have any queries, suggestions, inputs, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. If you like the content, please subscribe as well. Thank you.